everyone. Um, I'm gonna speak a little bit quietly because Vinny's asleep, but let me know if you can hear me okay and if you can see everything okay. And I am starting a little bit earlier just to get like the fluff stuff out of the way um, because the beginning stages are quite they, they take the longest to develop and I would like to try and get this done in one stream. The last Pan Pastel demo I did, I did manage to finish in one stream, one long stream. So I'm aiming to do the same thing today. <laughs> cool, Sandy can hear and see just fine. Cool, welcome to everyone that's on here. I'll give everyone a minute so that they, um, some more people can get on. Hey Snailsy's World of Art. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So I know I've been very quiet lately and a lot has been happening. So I haven't really had the opportunity to um, jump into a lot of stuff. I have like a backlog of so many drawings. I still have to finish the Pan Pastel Rose. I have to finish the last color pencil magazine challenge, which See, I didn't finish it on that day, which I should have done because I, I knew, I knew if I didn't continue to finish it at that time, I wouldn't get done. <laughs> um, I still have that one to do and I will hopefully get this one done so that this doesn't end up on the backlog as well. And then I've got two commissions that I'm doing as well. Now, I know I said I'm not doing commissions, but they're full family and I sort of couldn't get away with not doing them. So, um... Yeah, so it's a bit annoying because I got to do all that stuff, and I've I got a few I've got a quite a few things planned for the student portal, and I've started all the blog posts, but I've only saved them because I, I haven't been able to publish them publicly yet because um, they're not quite done, but they're there. So I want to get all the solvent stuff out of the way so that we can finally start with the paper types and doing all the swatches, which a lot of you have been waiting for. Um, those of you that are students on the student portal. <sighs> Okay, so hey to everybody. Hey Sandy, Tracy, Pamela, Chris Crafts, Luke. Um, thank you, Pamela. <laughs> uh, Esme, hey! Welcome back, Esme. Can't stay today because of work, so I, I'll donate. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so if you guys want to um, stand a chance to win the giveaways today, so I'm doing three giveaways. I'm doing a set of 20 pan pastels, which is like this. A set of 20 pan pastels, which comes with a big tray that you can fit all these 20 in there. Um, and then I'm also giving away a set of 10 pan pastel colors with a tray and some soft application applicator tools and a set of five pan pastels, which is the third giveaway with some soft applicator sponges as well. So if you want to know how to enter for the giveaway, then just read the description. Um, it's just a super chat, um, which helps me out with postage. So that's the only reason I do it is so that it doesn't cost me a fortune to post these things over to you guys. So thank you. Radio, I am starting the stream early today. Um, like I said a little bit earlier, if you didn't hear, is I just want to sort of get the the beginning t phases done because that's usually a bit of a boring part. So I did transfer the outline on just to save time. And now I would like to just do the underpainting. And the materials that I'm using today is I'm using the um, Canson Mitons Tex paper. So the Tex and the Touch paper, they are sanded paper. Um, not very sanded, not like the UART or the Fisher 400 paper. They um, are slightly sanded. And this paper um, is good for pan pastels. So any sanded surface is good for pan pastels because it's, it grips onto the surface. So I'm using this paper today and I'm using the black one so that I don't have to fill in the black background myself. I'm just going to use the black of this paper. And I find that the black of this paper is more black than I can ever get it myself. Using pen pastels or colored pencils or whatever I use, I can never get it this black. So I want to use the black of this paper because it's as dark as I'm going to get it. Um, and then I've got a couple of pan pastel colors which I'll just mention as I use them. I'm going to use some of my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. 
and um, I don't know if I'll use any Prismacolor pencils. I'm going to try not to. I might though with the real white touches come in with the brush and pencil color pencil titanium white powder um, for like the soft feathers um, or the little feathers on top of the head. Um, and what else? And then I've got some soft applicator sponges over here. I've got a putty rubber, which is great for if you have any excess powder fall on the side of your sheets or you want to clean up the black a little bit then you can just and it's real easy to remove a mark so if you're doing your outline and you need to remove a mark just use a putty rubber they're really good um what else and then i might i don't know if i'm going to but i might use my um zested pencil blend and a brush to blend in the pencil if i feel like i want to get some tiny details with the brush okay cool thanks guys getting a couple of inches so Maureen thank you so much Maureen Maureen's my moderator today and uh, Maureen's gonna take note of everybody who's entering for the giveaway so she'll give you guys a number and that number is going to be the number that I'll use at the end so I'll be streaming for an hour and a half um, and then at the end of the hour and a half I'll do the three giveaways and um, Maureen would have given you each a number and then I'm just going to randomize those numbers from an app on my phone and then um, I'll do that three times and the three numbers that win will get the giveaways so that's how it works great thanks guys <laughs> Okie dokie, and if you have any questions, if you can please tag me in it, or if you can put it all in capital letters, because then it makes it easier for me to see it real quick. Um, Yells is asking, what is pan pastel? Oh, far out, like I don't, I, I just automatically assume that everybody knows what pan pastels are, but no, they don't. Okay, so pan pastels are these um, little things, so they're actually, it's like compact pastel powder. Um, it reminds me a bit of like blush or um, bronzer powder, makeup powder, except that they do it with all the pastel colors. So there are, I think there's 98 colors in total. Um, and yeah, so it's just compact pastels. And then the way you use it is you would use a sponge like this, apply it to the sponge and then apply that to the paper. So that's the idea behind pan pastels. So they literally are pastels in little pans. <laughs> um, they're a really great medium to use and I find that the pigment is really strong. It's, I think it's stronger than pastel pencils in my opinion. Um, although I haven't used pastel pencils all that much. And they mix very well with other pencils, with your oil pencils, wax pencils, pastel pencils. You can use any of those pencils with the pan pastels, which I love so much. And pan pastels is also really great if you wanna get a lot of coverage done really quickly. Okay, uh, and thank you to everybody who's saying congratulations. <laughs> for some of you who've been following me for a while, um, I on Wednesday, um, Vinny proposed and we got engaged. So we've been together for almost seven years. So it was an amazing day, very very special, and um, I still feel like it's a bit unreal. <laughs> so I, I'm still floating on cloud nine a little bit, <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you so much for. For all the nice comments <laughs> radio okay so I'm just gonna jump straight in oh and something else I forgot to mention is that um, when you've got a layer in and you want to seal it in then you need to seal it in with a fixative and the fixative I like to use is the um, Micador workable matte fixative so this one is made for pastel charcoal chalk and pencil work and um, it's a matte one and it's a workable one you can use the brush and pencil textured fixative, but I don't like using that on black paper because I found that it on the black paper, it sort of gives it a hazy look. Um, and you can, you can literally see the texture that you spray on the paper. You can see it on the paper and I don't want to see it. So I like to use this fixative because you don't see the texture and it doesn't create that haze. Although, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, I guess we'll see. Because I don't know if I've actually used this fixative on the black paper before. Um, 
I'm, just, I'm just assuming actually. We'll have to try it and check it out. Test it out. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> Cool, so I think you guys can see that okay. I'll try and zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let me... So right now the internet seems to be okay. Um, so hopefully it stays that way. And I don't know why, like I cannot figure out why. So when you see my hand move over the top, it creates like lines across the screen. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's so frustrating, but I cannot figure out how to change that. Um, so even when I just record, it still does the same thing because I'm doing this through OBS, so I know it's OBS, but I, I'm not sure what to do to change that. So I'm sorry if that gets a bit annoying, but it shouldn't affect um, what I'm teaching. You should still be able to see quite fine what I'm doing, um, especially with the sponges. Yeah, see, even that, that's so frustrating. Like, I really wish I didn't do that. Actually, it might be a good idea to record this with my DSLR anyways. And the battery is full. Okay. So, I'll start recording in a second. Let me just set my timer. See, look, it's already 12 minutes before I'm actually supposed to start the stream and I've done nothing yet, so... It might be worthwhile starting a little earlier every once in a while just to get these sort of details out of the way. <laughs> okay, so set my timer. Start that. Start the DSLR. So this tutorial, once it is, um, once this tutorial is complete, it will be on the pan pastel youtube page but if i finish this stream if i finish this whole thing in the stream then this video will stay on my page my youtube channel so the recording that i do with the dslr that recording is what i give to pan pastel and they put on their youtube channel um the live stream recording that i do here is just stays on my channel <laughs> um okay Hey, Gracelyn. <laughs> she finally caught me live. Welcome. <laughs> That's so true. Daniel says, after your engagement, you're half in an alternative dimension. Yep. Seven years. You made me wait so long. Seven years. I was ready for this. Probably the first year that I was with him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Um, Yells has a question saying, I have pastel pencils and have given up on them regarding the sharpening, even though I enjoyed using them. That's exactly why I don't use pa pastel pencils. I just, I don't like the sharpening. But apparently the um, Derwent Handcrack sharpener is pretty good. Um, if you check out Jason Morgan's YouTube channel, he does a video about sharpening pastel pencils. Um, and that sharpener sharpens them pretty good. And I... I've tried them with my Faber-Castell Pit Pastel Pencils and they actually, it's not bad, it sharpens them really, really well. So, but that is one of the reasons I just prefer to use my oil or wax-based pencils. I'm not too much of a pastel pencil fan, but I am a huge pen pastel fan. <laughs> That's meant for you. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. Oh, and I also have some brushes here, like makeup brushes, so that if I go over the edge, I can actually wipe it off with these makeup brushes. Now, a lot of people are like, can't you blend with the brush? Just blend with the brush. You can't because the brush actually lifts it off the paper. It lifts the pastel off the paper, whereas the sponge pushes it into the texture of the paper. It doesn't brush it off. A brush, the, the hair on the brush, brushes it off so it's actually a nifty tool to use if you want to clean the edges of your drawing Um, 
Uh, I said maximum five inches in the description. I did that again. I prefer three, but um, we said five already. So I guess for this one, it'll just be five. And also, this is going to be, uh, I'm only doing one more Pam Pastel demo after this one next month, and then I'm not doing any more. Um, maybe until next year or something, because a lot's going to be happening. My mom's coming over to visit. I don't know what else is going to be happening. <laughs> so um, I, I've told Pam Pastel that I just need a cool down period for a little while. So I'm doing this one, and next month um, I'll do another one, and then that's going to be it for it it for a while so if you guys want to enter for these pen pastels then this this time and next month is the last time that you can do that <laughs> thanks guys okay cool right so um oh and the reference photo i put a link in the description um it's a pixabay photo so it's a royalty free photo that you can use um, to do your drawings with. Let me just open that and make sure the link works. Yep. So the um, photographer is Alexis Photos. Um, and you can see that when you click on the link, you can see who the photo belonged to, and that's where you can get the free download as well. Okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful swan photo. Hey Jacqueline, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna start off. When you look at the reference photo, it's the head is quite brown, but I think I'm just gonna go straight in with um, my titanium white, and I'm gonna use this white pan pastel and a triangular spongy. Oh my gosh, look how nice that is. And that little black section in the face, I'm going to leave that black. But if I, don't, if I end up going over it a little bit, then I can just use my black pencil for that. It is so satisfying seeing such a nice pigment of color appear on the paper. This is, if you like doing portraits um, and you like doing black and white, then this would be an amazing way to do a portrait just on the black paper. And the Mitans text black paper is pretty insane. Um, or the touch, whichever. So the difference between the Mitons, the Canson Mitons text, um, and the touch is just the weight. The um, the touch is a little bit of a heavier paper than the text, but the grain and the grit on the top of the surface is the same. Yals is asking, what is the difference between makeup and pastel? I have bought cheap makeup to use with regards to whimsical faces, etc. Yeah, you know what? I've actually seen a couple of people use makeup um, to do some artworks. It's pretty cool. But the difference is that pan pastels, um, it's pastel. So it's archival and it's made for, for artwork and it's acid free, whereas makeup isn't necessarily acid free or archival so it's not going to be long lasting uh, like pan pastels is made for this so it's going to last a lot longer <laughs> Uh, 
and also any other chemicals that they might have in makeup could have an effect on paper it could yellow it maybe over time or um, it might not you know because it's not made for the paper it could destroy the paper over time so rather use a product that is made for it if you want it to last but if you're just doing it for fun then I reckon have a go with makeup <laughs> hey Kirsty Hey Jody. <gasps> Jody was kind enough to send me um, some suede paper, which I haven't even opened yet, um, but I got it. I think did I, I think I told jo you, Jody, that I got the paper. <laughs> I hope so. Um, and yeah, so I'm super excited to to use that when I finally get to add more time to my student portal, and we get to doing the paper swatches, and then I'm definitely going to use that paper. Thanks so much. Hey Karen, I did start a little bit earlier, yes, I was just getting all the talking and the fluff bits out the way. Pamela's asking if I've ever done scratchboard. Yes, I have. I did that um, last year I tried that and I quite enjoyed it. Um, so that is, that is pretty fun too. And I love the inks that you can apply on there too. You could get some really cool stuff really cool drawings out of it scratches <laughs> Luke said you should not get the love bits away. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Peggy's asking, has anyone tried the Vela paper? I have... I have not tried the Vela paper. Actually, I didn't even have that on my list. Lee asked, were you going to spray this before you started? Uh, no, you don't have to spray it before you start. You only need to spray it when you want to seal in those colors. Okay. So now I'm going to use some of the yellow ochre shade and I think I'm going to sort of dip it in both so that the yellow ochre shade isn't too yellow when I apply it here. I'm not fussed about any details yet, I just want to get the colour down. Scrappy Cat, I started a little bit earlier um, just to 
get the talking and the fluff bits out of the way. But you didn't miss anything. We only really started this at 9 o'clock. Or 7 or whatever the time zone is by you guys. If you guys have any questions, just tag me or put it in capital letters, please. 1 a.m. Luke, and you always pop in on a stream, it's crazy. Are you either you have insomnia or you're a night person? Hey, Marjorie, welcome. Another Aussie. <laughs> Try some of the orange extra dark on the back here, back of the neck. Um, probably that along with some black. This looks like an oil painting. I say that every time, but it looks so cool. It literally looks like a, a painting. If you want to clean your sponge, just wipe it off on some paper towel. Not too much. <laughs> yes. Sam I am. <laughs> night from England. Good night. Thank you for joining joining us, yells. Uh, Scrappy Cat says I'm watching you while I have a smoothie bowl. Oh she says I'm addicted to them. Yeah, me too. I have one for breakfast every day. Although this morning I just had some warm oats and some raisins and apple. Uh, because I was in a rush. <laughs> Yeah, smoothie bowls are great. The Payne's Grey Extra Dark over here. Mm. And then, so I'm, I, I'm gonna keep putting these pan pastels on here so you can see how I'm using them. So, and I'm going to use some of the neutral grey shade and fill in this sort of shadow over here. And I think I'm going to mix it in with the Payne's grey. Okay. 
Hey Rosebud, thank you very much. Um, Karen's asking, do you have some magic method for choosing pan pastel colors? My magic method is that I don't care if the colors are exactly right or not. So I just pick whatever, really. And I'm not fussed if it matches exactly. I'm not aiming for exact color match. Um, so the closest color that I can see with my eye is just what I pick. So to me, the value is more important than the color. So getting the darkness and the lightness right. Don't let um, picking colors uh, get you stuck because I think a lot of times you want to pick colors and you don't know which colors to pick and you're trying to make it too technical. When you make it too technical, then you probably won't even get started sometimes because you'll just give up. So don't make it too technical. Just pick whatever colors you want and focus on the values more than the colors themselves. That's the trick. <laughs> Uh, some white. Did you hear something? No, don't bark. I've got my dogs right there. I'm not sure if you can see. Honey, honey, what do you see? Hmm? What do you see? <laughs> I think they could hear something outside. Do the same for the section in here. No, nothing yet, Maureen. Uh, Buzz is asking, does, do you need to be present on the live stream? No, you can enter and um, I'll, as soon as the, I get the winners, I'll put it in the description and then if you can just come back and check 
and then get in touch with me so I can get your mailing address and stuff. Um, Karen is saying, I so enjoy your demos. I'm almost finished with the cat with the blue eyes you did about a month ago. Really liking how it's turning out. That's wonderful. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> so I just read a message from my brother saying, oh, so you're doing commissions now? <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not doing commissions. So the two drawings that I'm doing, um, last year I did a um, drawing of uh, a niece. Uh, Ava and did like a cartoon like drawing for her first birthday and now because Vinny's family is Italian a big family and there's so many grandkids that are popping up now and um, now it's like there's an expectation for me to do a drawing like that for every baby that has a first birthday <laughs> so there were two more that had a first birthday um, so I, did, I started one for the one and now I have to do the other one as well so I've got those two that I'm doing, so it's not really commissions, it's just something that I have to do. And now my brother's saying, oh, you're doing commissions again? And now I bet I'm going to have to add another thing to the list. <laughs> Darren, don't make me do another commission. <laughs> because obviously... My brother, they had a baby, so I have a, the first grandchild in the family, my first niece, and I'm pretty sure they would like a drawing of her, which I'd love to do, but I just have such a large amount of other things to do. <laughs> I think a lot of you guys can relate. Like, oh no, sometimes family asks you and you say yes when you don't really mean yes and you have to do it. Uh, Jacqueline, I transferred the image. Because I only started this morning, I was not in the mood to to freehand. Oh my gosh, what's with this music? Sounds like boring church music. Hey, Darren, if you're listening, why don't you come on the chat? Hmm? Get onto the chat. I just got into big trouble.
just ex I have to reply. So I haven't even sealed anything in yet, which is cool. So it's taking the color on nicely, but you see how it still has gray tones. It's not going like completely white. So when you want it to go completely white, you need to like seal this in first with the fixative. So I think I want to do like the underpainting for the entire swan first and then um, seal it with the fixative. And then by the time I add the next layer of white, it will show up even stronger than that. You can even use your pan pastels to, or use the soft applicator tools to create textures. Jacqueline's asking, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, this is a bad thing about camera. I'm not very good at hiding my feelings. Um, a family member saw me i uh, was on the chat uh not on the chat i saw in the live stream that i was doing commissions and they've been asking me to do them do something for them for a long time and i just got a snotty message um about how i can do it for somebody else but i can't do it for them so <sighs> i don't know everyone wants something i can't i can't please everybody Now they feel like it's a personal attack on them because I didn't freaking do something for them. Which hurts my feelings too. <laughs> I do art because I enjoy it and I want to do what I love doing. I don't want to do what other people want me to do. I want to do what I want to do. Because the minute I do what other people want me to do, then my heart's not in it. Anyways, so there was a real life moment for you guys. <laughs> uh, Marie's asking if I tried using the Derwent Light Fast yet. Um, no, I have not. I have not. And they're pretty expensive and I'm pretty sure I won't I won't be buying them unless I'm gifted them I wouldn't be using them I don't think I'm quite happy to stick with my polys and my prismas yes Marie that's right
starting to look awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's starting to develop a little bit. Let's see if I can turn that slightly. There we go. Ready here. Oh, cool, Karen, yeah, that'd be good. So if you guys can give me a review on the pencils and what you think about them, that'd be great. Uh, Jacqueline, the numbers are the entries. So those that are doing the super chat to enter for the giveaways, the pan pastel giveaways, um, that's what those numbers are for. So the time now is 26 past 9, so I think what I'll do is that in half an hour, so in half an hour I will do the giveaway. So you've got another half an hour to enter. Whoa, Barbara! <laughs> Far out. Thank you. That's huge. Thanks so much. And thanks to everyone else as well. <laughs> I'm afraid to look at my phone now. I think I'm not going to look at it. I got my emails up if anyone um, donates through there instead of the super chat so I can see it. But nothing yet, Maureen, if you were wondering. You guys are keeping Maureen very busy. <laughs> hey, Brenda. I oh, hope you're feeling better. Marie is saying, turn it off for the rest of the day. Turn what off? Hey, monkey.
Oh, it turned my phone off for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do that. <laughs> I'll just, I'll deal with it. <laughs> I'm not... Otherwise, I'm just postponing it to deal with it for another time. I may as well just deal with it today. Once this is done. You're just going to sit there and stare at me. Okay. You're just going to sit and stare at me. Hmm? <laughs> Honey's come to comfort me, I think. <laughs> She's so sensitive to the way I feel, aren't you? You make me feel better. I do. <laughs> um, okay, so let's add some darker greys now. So I'm going to use the neutral grey shade. Uh, Denise is asking, how often do you use fixative spray when using pan pastels? Well, between layers, like this. So this is still my first layer, the underpainting. So once I've finished the first layer, then I will use the fixative. But let's say I wanted to um, just work on this section um, until it was done, then I would have sprayed this section so that I could start the next layer already. So you sort of just have to play around with it. And then if you're doing a landscape, you can feel when the pan pastel starts moving around too much and you want it to stay put, then you'd seal it um, with a fixative and then you carry on over the top so that the underpainting doesn't change, it stays the same. Oh, Mojine, I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's use the Payne's Grey Extra Dark. What's wrong, honey? You can lie down. And just try and wipe off the excess off of the sponge. There we go, that's better. It's true <laughs> but I don't expect that from you guys definitely not <laughs> thanks Peggy you guys are amazing Sammy's asking how important is the blender? Hey, what are you two doing? Honey, Taylor. Honey, Taylor, not inside. Not inside, go lie down. When they play, they play really rough and then sometimes they try and do that inside the house. And that's a no-no. <laughs> Hey, Darren. <laughs> so Darren, that's my brother. So nice to see you on a chat. Hmm. <laughs> 
Jacqueline's asking when is the big day? We don't know. We still have to talk about all this stuff. We haven't made any plans yet um, because Vinny asked me on Wednesday and then he started his shift work Thursday so and he's still doing shift work throughout the weekend so because he's been working we haven't had an opportunity to sit down and really talk about it yet so next week maybe we'll figure something out. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Peggy, I've got a huge doggy door. <laughs> we need one. They are in and out all the time. They can't make up their mind. Darren says, just popping in to say hi from us. Swan is looking amazing. Oh, thanks, Darren. How's my niece doing? Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> She's giving a shout out, so sweet. <laughs> I do feel like I'm getting closer to adding fixative. Now I just sort of, I want to see which areas have more highlights. That looks so cool. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of the the yellow ochre shade to 
some of the rest of this one just to balance out some of those warm tones Pampas, they're so cool because I haven't done any detail, but look at that already. It looks like it's got great form and depth already. Now I'm wondering, I might do the water as well before I spray it. So if you, you the square applicator sponge is great because you can use the sides. Uh, Darren's asking if the dogs are in their jackets. We're getting macho and bello jackets today. It's five degrees in Perth yesterday. Yeah, get them jackets. So they're not in jackets now. They're only my girls are only in jackets um, at night time. But yeah, it was like one degree this morning. So definitely your jackets. So my brother and them they're moving back from Darwin. They're moving to Perth. So um, Darwin's obviously very hot all throughout the year because it's very tropical there. So and Perth is in winter now. So it's, you're gonna get used to the cold. Hey Steve, that's nice to see you on here. Steve Nunes does amazing airbrush art. So he says he's excited to see this completed. Me too. Uh, Karen is saying the effect you get by just so, sort of dabbing the pan pastels on is very cool. Looks like feather fluff. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah they do. So it's Saturday by me today. So I th I'm 15 hours ahead of those in New York, US. So I'm usually a day ahead. I'm in the future. <laughs> okay, carry on. Right, so with the water, I think what I'm, actually what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the same sort of colors that I used over here. And I'm not even going to be very detailed about it. show you just how easy the water is. Okay, and some of the paint gray. Even some of the, the brownish colors. Now, I'm going to take this 
flat sponge. And I'm just going to pull it across. So you guys have 15 minutes left to enter and then I'm going to draw the giveaway names. simple that was. <laughs> And then you could use the top of your sponge just to make some areas even more highlighted. I think that was the easiest water reflection I've done in my life. <laughs> and this is just the underpainting. Okay, so a tip before you spray with your fixative, you want to blow off any any excess flakes because you don't want to seal them in and use your putty rubber to lift off any any extra little pan pastel dust so I'm going to spray this now and you'll see what will happen is that it will actually fade a little so that's pretty normal with pastels, that's just a normal thing to happen is that the white will fade out a little so you're going to have to do another layer to bring it back out again. Okay, so let's spray that. Good night Marie, thank you for joining us. Bye Barb, thanks for joining us. shake this so 
you can see we have sprayed it. And this dries pretty quick, which I like about it. So it made it fade a little bit, but not too much. But now this is sealed in, so this is not going to change and it's not going to move around anymore. So whatever we place on the top is going to appear brighter. Doki. So I'm going to let that dry for a second longer. I'm just going to pause to have a loo break real quick. <laughs> so I'll be right back. So the screen is going to buffer while it's paused, um, but I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Radio. So I'm pretty much going to repeat what I did, I think, and just make everything, all the colors in that appear stronger. So I'm going to start again with the, the head. And the real small details of the feathers I will be doing with my pencils. Okay, so seven more minutes to enter. And for those who missed it earlier, um, I'm only doing one more pan pastel giveaway after this next month. It'll be my last one for a while. Um, so just because we're leading into a busy time of the year. And I'm not sure what's going to happen. So I might carry on again next year, I think. Oh, thanks, Scrappy Cat. <laughs> It's nice when you make connections with other artists and then their followers sort of um, find you there. <laughs> Karen's asking if I do local workshops. Yes, I do. So about once, sometimes twice a month, I um, do a workshop in town or one of the towns that are not too far away. So my next one's on the 4th of August. It's my next one.
actually saw a post a while back that Lisa was finally trying the pan pastels. And I didn't watch the video, but I'm curious to know if she ended up liking them or not. Did any of you watch that video? Because I know she hates pastels. So I really, really want to know if she enjoyed the pan pastels. Karen, that would be insane. Although, it might have been, I'm, I'm in a tiny little country town in the middle of nowhere, so I'm like five hours away from the nearest city. She loves them. That's great. I knew she'd like them. She just had to give them a go. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so I'm gonna pause. I'm well, not pause, I'm gonna stop doing this. Pause the recording and do get ready for the giveaway. So, two more minutes left. So, the first giveaway is gonna be this big set of 20 pan pastels, um, which comes with a tray. It also comes with this pan pastel tray or palette, so you can fit all of them in there. And then the second set is a set of 10 with a tray and some soft tools. And the third one is a set of five with some soft tools. So inside the main, the first giveaway, I'll show you the box. Those are the colors. Oh, sorry for that scratching noise. And at the bottom, you've got some soft tools in the bottom trays. And then you've got in the side there, you've got two of the palette knives, and the soft applicator sponges are at the bottom there. So that's the first one. I haven't received any uh, emails, Maureen, so everyone seems to be good with a super chat. So you can thank Pan Pastel. So Pan Pastel couldn't make it on today because they're busy traveling, but um, they sent these to me to give away to you guys. So next month's the last one, and then this this is for this month. Okay, so um, that's it. No more entries, we are done. So I'll just, uh, so Lady Marigold was the last one and Maureen will, and that's number 76 is Lady Marigold. Okay, so we'll do, do the giveaway. So let me get my phone. got the randomizer app open like this so number 76 is the last one Maureen is that right away now it's 
Marina, we good to go? Okay, one to 76. So in the app, and go settings and go one to, oh, the last time we had 78. <laughs> Okay, so 1 to 76 as the maximum. It is a 76. It looks like 5, but it's 76. And then go done. And then go save. And then the first giveaway, which is a set of 20 plus a palette or tray, is going to number... Number 2. Cool, number 2. So the first giveaway goes to number 2. So Marina let us know. Let me type that up. First number is, first winner is number two. Okay. And so that is this one. I don't think I can go scroll to the top of the chat that far. No. So, Daniel, Daniel Johnson is number two. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> okay, so Daniel Johnson is number two. Is the first winner. And his number is number two. Congratulations, Daniel. Daniel is very lucky on my my live streams and giveaways. Daniel Johnson. Congratulations, Daniel. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, the next one is the set of 10 colors and a tray and some soft tools. So that's number two, the next giveaway. Um, which goes to number 25. Number 25. So let's see. <gasps> Jody! Jody is number 25. So I'm just looking. Um, Maureen sent me a list that she wrote down. Jody M is number 25. Congratulations, Jody! Woo! Uh, it's cool. Jody sent me some paper the other day, um, which the paper that I just couldn't get my hands on over here. So uh, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you, Jody, and congratulations! Congratulations on winning this set over here. So ten pan pastels and the tray. So let's put that there. So both of the winners are students of mine so far. Okay, so, and then the final one goes to, so the final giveaway is, these soft tools with the set of five colors. So that one is gonna go to number, 48, number 48. So, Maureen will give me that one because I don't have that picture. Number 48, Maureen. Oh, Daniel, that's so nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Extra for you as postage. Thanks so much. You guys are amazing. Barbara! Oh my god! Really? That's crazy! Barbara won again! Amazing! Congratulations, Barbara! <laughs> oh, this is so nice! All three of you guys have been followers and students of mine for quite some time, so it's so nice that you're actually getting something back as well. Um, well done! 
So Barbara is the third winner. So save changes. I've just updated the description. And those are the three winners. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> well done. So I will post these out on Monday. Okay. I won't take so long like I did the last time to post them out. So I'll try and get them out as soon as possible. Okay. Well done, guys. Congratulations. So um, that's it, those are the winners, and um, what was I going to say? Oh, so no more super chats or donations or anything, uh, it's all done now. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep working on this for a little while longer, and then, um, yeah. So I'll keep working on it for a little while longer. Sorry, I just got a message from an auntie. I just got a reply real quick. Um, I got some, she had a Tupperware party the other day, so I got some Tupperware. So she's just saying that it's ready for me to pick up. <laughs> oh, here's that church sounding music again. I can pick it up. Around eleven. Yeah. Cool. Right here. Let's continue. So, okay. So I'm still working on this area here. Well done. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> A huge thanks to Pam Pastel for sending all these giveaways and um, yeah for allowing me the opportunity to do this it's really great oh don't forget to record thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so something I'll do real quick is um, I'm going to use my light cadmium red number 117. Oh, and also a massive thank you to Maureen. Let me not forget. Thank you so much, Maureen, for doing this every single time. You're amazing. You're always available for helping me in the chats and for moderating. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I know, there's, there's so many on you. I wish I could give every one of you a giveaway, especially those that keep trying and they keep missing out. I'm so sorry about that. Um, that's the reason I use a randomizer app is so that, you know, it's it's fair. Well, that's the fairest way I can think of doing it. Um, so, yeah, it would be nice if I could give you guys more stuff, but <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Nicole or Peggy, for you guys missing out, and again, so I know you guys keep entering and you miss out, but one day you'll get you'll get something. <laughs> oh, Jody missed it. <laughs> yes, Jody, you won the second prize. So I updated the description. Well done, congratulations. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use the light cadmium red number one one seven, and I just wanna do that nice bright orange section of the beak that is sort of just sticking out over here and then I'm going to use a white pencil for the soft fluffy bits across the face
And then I think I'd like to just sort of emphasize the, the eye section a bit more. can use my pan pastas to blend some of that in a bit smoother. seriously that is so so nice of you so Barbara would like to donate her set to Peggy thank you Barbara that is so kind of you okay so I will edit that in the description and say that that one's gonna go to Peggy That is so, so kind of you. Thank you, Barbara. You're amazing. Is Peggy still on here? I'm not sure if Peggy's on anymore, but I'll definitely let her know that it's from, Bo from Barbara. Thank you so much. is going to be great on these shadows because the black doesn't actually go as black as the paper does <laughs> so and because we've already got some color underneath it it won't be too flat or too dark 
So it'll be a perfect colour to use for the shadow. So I think the darkest areas are as dark as we're going to get them. So now we want to make those highlights really pop out more. So I'm just wiping the tip of my sponge on a paper towel. And then we're using the white. even think if I want to bother with the details of the pencils I sort of really like the way the the tip of this soft tool is already creating a sense of texture feather like texture Good night, Luke. Thank you so much for joining us.
I love the way this is looking. Okay, so I'm going to stream for about another 10 minutes. And then um, I've got to go. A smidge of the yellow ochre shade. some yellow ochre tint. It's a very subtle color difference, but it does add a nice Use some of the orange extra dark in the back. Make sure those colors also reflect in the water. And then... That's it. 
I think. I really like that as it is actually. Now I can add more detail, but I actually don't want to. I like the painterly effect that it's got. could do is just make some of these lines look a smidge straighter. surname is gonna change obviously so I've done this for a couple of years now because I always knew that I was gonna marry him one day where I made the V curve in a way that it could look like a P so it could look like a V or a P <laughs> so um, yeah it looks like it could be a V or a P A subtle change so I don't have to change my whole signature and I wouldn't because the artist signature is usually different to their you know their everyday signature so that's it I'm gonna be a Papa Sidero Papa Sidero <laughs> did say orange extra dark Karen that's right bye Graceland thank you for joining us good night Jacqueline thank you for joining us <laughs> okay cool well I'm gonna call it a day this is the pan pastel demo so it's all done and um, I want to thank everybody who participated and everyone for your really kind comments and today's stream was really nice I'm so happy that we actually got it done in one go. So I'm only doing one more, which I'll be doing next month. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but um, that's going to be the final one for a couple of months until things in my life calm down a little bit more. And then maybe next year I can get back into it again um, and do more giveaways and stuff. So thanks to everybody for tuning in and congratulations to the winner. I did, the winners, I did put your names in the description. Um, everyone that won, I do have your details because you're students of mine, so I will send everything out on Monday. I'll send it to you guys. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.